Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan. So today I want to tell you a really cool story about the most ancient species in the Star Wars galaxy. One of the most common tropes in all sci-fi universes is the concept of an elder race. In Mass Effect, they were called the Proetheans. In Halo, they were called the Precursors. But did you know Star Wars also has its own elder race? Long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, before the Battle of the Arvin, before the Skywalkers, before the Old Republic and Sith Empire, even before the Rakatan Infinite Empire, there was one species that was more powerful and advanced than any civilization that the galaxy had ever seen. They were the Celestials, otherwise known as the Architects. Yeah, maybe I should have let Ben do this video. This kind of feels like cultural appropriation. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, before the Battle of Yavin, before the Skywalkers, before the Old Republic and the Sith Empire, even before the Rakatan Infinite Empire, there was one species that was more powerful and advanced than any civilization that the galaxy had ever known. They were the Celestiles, otherwise known as the Architects. Gotta sound like a douchebag. Anyway, very little is known about this mysterious race of powerful aliens, even their appearance is unknown. Dr. Inzmat Bowen of the Oberon Institute for Archaeology had studied many ancient cultures that had encountered the Celestiles. He noticed the common theme in their depiction of the ancient aliens in their artwork. That is everything but a turtle. According to their artwork, the Celestiles were a serpentine by nature, having either tentacles or vines as appendages. Another theory stated that the Celestiles had a malleable appearance incomprehensible to mere mortals. While others say that the Celestials had merged with the Force completely and let go of their physical bodies. By 100,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, the Celestials had taken over most of the known galaxy. They had made contact with several sentient species. Many of these ancient species, like the Shauru and Kalomi, fled or hid. Others, like the Kilix, Kwa, and Rakatans, became their servants. Much of what we know about the Celestials actually comes from the Kilix. They're a sentient hive mind insect species who are highly telepathic. One such hive named the Thurhut were ancient enough to actually have encountered the Celestials. They described encountering a group of extremely powerful force wielders known as the Ones. The Thurhut hive claimed that the Ones were what the Celestials had become. The Ones joined the Kilix and gave them the ability to use the force to mine and extract material from asteroids to use to build a gigantic hyperspace tractor beam. This construct was even larger than the first Death Star. Located in the Karelian system, this weapon would become known as Centerpoint Station. Its tractor beam was so powerful that it could move stars and entire planetary systems. The ones would go on to use Centerpoint Station to create the Maw, a cluster of unstable black holes in the center of the galaxy in order to prison Avaloth. One of the most powerful and terrible monsters in the universe. No, 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 seriously. She was so freaking powerful that she probably deserves her own episode. We'll do her story next time. The Ones created several more large constructs, including another hyperspace tractor beam known as Sinkhole Station, to monitor the Maw in order to keep Abeloth in check. They also created the Cosmic Turbine, which was found in the Voltar system, which had similar abilities. Later on, Han Solo and Princess Leia discovered a planet-wide celestial machine underneath the surface of Kessel that was used to observe gravity wells across the entire galaxy. The Celestials would use their advanced hyperspace gravity technology to shape many of the systems in the galaxy. For example, the Karelian system home of Han Solo exhibited many strange properties. The planet's orbits were extremely close to each other, yet were perfectly aligned so that none of the five brothers, as the planets were known, collided with each other. It was also found that each of the five brothers had planet-sized repulsors buried beneath their surface so large that they are capable of propelling the planets themselves. Scientists therefore theorized that the Corellian system had been assembled from pre-existing planets from other systems. What became of the Celestials is not clearly known. One theory is that Abeloth grew in power and managed to destroy the Force-sensitive species. Another theory says the Rakatans destroyed the Celestials. The Rakatans were discovered by Kwa, a client species of the Celestials. The Kwa elevated the Rakatans by providing them with technology, although it was soon discovered that the Rakatans were complete assholes. They used their newly gifted Qua technology to rapidly expand their territory, enslaving and killing billions of beings. The cannibalistic race ignored the Qua's teachings of balance in the Force and fell to the dark side. Much of their technology was actually powered using the Force. 
refusing to be servants, the Rakata unleashed terrible curses upon the Celestials and drove them to extinction. The Celestials fought back by creating hyperspace anomalies in the unknown region where the Rakata homeworld was in order to contain them. But in the end, the Celestials disappeared, and all that remained of them were the ones. So guys, that's the story of the Celestials, and as you can see, they are an extremely powerful and important race. So powerful that they might have even created the galaxy. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about the Celestials. Why do you think they disappeared? And you want to hear the story of Abeloth, because I think she's a pretty awesome villain, and I definitely want to tell that story. And if you like this video, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification button so you're notified when we upload our new videos. And as usual, guys, if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.